In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Trezor hardware wallet with Exodus. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. I recently created an Exodus wallet update with some of the new features of Exodus, but what I thought I'd do is create a separate tutorial for those of you who are wanting to connect your Trezor hardware wallet to the Exodus desktop wallet. Exodus has partnered with Trezor so that you can secure and manage your assets. For those of you who aren't aware, Exodus is my personal favorite software wallet, which you can run from your desktop and they also have a mobile app available too. From Exodus, you can easily send, receive, and exchange over 100 different types of assets, which are continually being added to and updated regularly. Trezor is a hardware wallet, which was launched back in August 2014 and was the very first Bitcoin hardware wallet. With a Trezor, your private keys are stored offline within the device, and therefore is one of the safest ways to store your assets. There are two different types of hardware wallet offerings by Trezor, which are the Model T and the Trezor One. The Trezor One is considered the gold standard, whereas the newer Model T is the premium choice with full color touchscreen. With Trezor being connected to your Exodus desktop wallet, you can send, receive, and exchange your assets directly from the security of your hardware wallet. You can also track your Trezor portfolio performance with charts and market details. And when you exchange the funds from your Trezor, you don't need to move your funds to a different wallet or an exchange. Also, you don't have to wait while you're sending your funds from or to an exchange, or, and you don't have to pay any additional fees. So let's go through the walkthrough of setting it all up. Now, Exodus supports either the Trezor Model T or the Model 1. And I'm going to be working with a brand new Trezor Model T today. If you don't already have one and want to purchase one, I'll pop a link in the summary below to an official link. So the first way I'm going to show you today is if you have a brand new Trezor out of the box. So what we're going to do is launch up Exodus. So if we open up Exodus and what we want to do is scroll down on the left hand side of the navigator pane and we're going to click on to settings. If you then go across to your hardware wallet which is at the top here. And then if this is the first time you're setting this up you'll need to install a Trezor bridge. Now one thing to mention is the Trezor bridge you will need to do so on a Chromium browser such as Google Chrome, Firefox or Brave browser. I'm going to be installing on a Brave browser today. So if you've not already heard of Brave before, what you can do is you can actually earn crypto whilst you're using their browser. I recently uploaded a tutorial about it and what I'll do is I'll pop it in the summary below just in case you want to find out some more. But what we want to do is click onto the link. Then you're then taken across to the Trezor bridge. Now there are lots of different types of operating systems that are supported. So you just need to select the right one and then click on to download latest bridge. Once that then downloads, what will happen is you'll be taken through a really simple installation wizard to install. And then you can head back to your Exodus wallet. Now, if you haven't already created your Trezor wallet, you'll need to head over to trezor.io slash start to create it. What I'll do is I'll create a separate tutorial for those of you who are looking for a little bit of extra help with that, and I'll pop it into the summary below. But what you need to do in here is just ensure that you have that option to detect Trezor switch to on. Then if your device does need any firmware updating, you'll be prompted to do so. So what I'm going to do is click on to update now. And then on your Trezor, it'll ask you to update. So what you need to do is click on to the green tick button. And it will then go, start going through and installing the firmware for you. And it will then restart. Once that's complete, you'll receive a message on screen stating that the firmware update is now complete. And on the left hand side, just under backup, you'll start to see Trezor appearing on the left hand side there. It'll then ask you if you want to pair, so what I'm going to do is click on to connect. And then it'll start to initiate your pairing. So what it's going to do, it's going to fetch and load your Trezor balances and transaction history. Now that may take a couple of minutes to actually transfer, depending on the amount of information that it's actually sending across in there. And once that's complete, it'll state that it's successfully paired and show you any balances. What we're going to do is click on to continue to portfolio. Then your Trezor device name will show at the top, so mine's called Every Bit Helps. But within here, you can easily swap back across to your Exodus wallet by just clicking on the tab at the top here. 
And you can then obviously switch back across to your treasure. So very simple. So in here, it'll show you any outstanding balances that you have. And if you scroll down, it'll also show you any market data, exactly the same within your Exodus wallet. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how you can receive funds. So I'm gonna be receiving some Litecoin. So what I now need to do is ensure that I'm clicked onto Litecoin and click onto the receive button. You then need to copy that Litecoin address or you can scan the QR code. Now in this example, I'm gonna be sending funds from my Exodus wallet. So what I'm gonna do is click on to send. I'm gonna paste that address that I just copied across. And then I'm gonna put in the amount that I'm gonna send across one Litecoin and it will show you that conversion. So I'm just gonna click on to send now. And it'll then tell me that it's been successfully sent and I can now see within my Trezor wallet that what one Litecoin is now appearing. What I'm gonna do is reverse that process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna send funds across from my Trezor wallet across to my Exodus wallet. So what I need to do is get my receiving address from within Exodus. So I need to click on to receive. I'm gonna copy this address or scan the QR code, head back over to my Trezor wallet, click on to send, paste that address into here. And again, you can either click on to half, all example, and it will show you that USD conversion. I'm gonna click on to send. Again, I need to confirm that, click on to send. And it will then ask me to also confirm that within my Trezor device. So it's that extra level of security that you have there. So what I need to do is click onto the green tick button. I now need to hold to confirm. And it'll then sign that transaction for me. It confirmed that amount has now been sent. So I can now see that my balance is now appearing as zero in here. So that was a very brief overview of how you can connect up your Trezor wallet with your Exodus. As you can see, it's a nice and simple, easy process to use. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do also head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.